hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to give you my opinion on the best three places to buy property in the completely underrated region of Galicia in Spain. Now the food and drink is some of the best in the whole of Spain. It is a region rich in history, full of natural beauty and you're never too far away from a beach. Now if you want to live in a region of Spain where there are not too many tourists or if you don't like very hot summers and don't mind a little bit of winter then Galicia might well be a good region in which to buy a property in Spain. Now before I reveal my top three places to buy I just want to mention a few lovely places that did not quite make the top three. Vigo and La Coruña are lovely cities in their own way and both have international airports but I felt with average property prices at 2,300 and 2,600 euros per square meter respectively they were quite expensive particularly when you consider Alicante in the south is less expensive than both of these cities. Oruense and Luga came very close to making the top three as well, in particular Lugo. Both are lovely underrated cities with cheap property prices at 1,500 and 1,300 euros per square meter on average respectively. Now anyway, here are my top three places to buy property in Galicia. But before I begin, I want to know your thoughts please comment below whether you agree or disagree with my choices and please give your reasons why. Anyway, here are my top three. And coming in at number three is the city of Ponte Vedra. Now with a population of around 83,000, Ponte Vedra has one of the largest and most elegant quarters in the whole of Galicia. There are many beautiful churches, many beautiful buildings and monuments, plus many lovely squares in which to meet, dine or have a coffee and watch the world go by. Now, although property prices are not extremely cheap at an average of around 1,900 euros per square meter, one of the main reasons why Ponte Vedra made the top three is that for the last 24 years this has been a city that has been restricting cars. The local government has slashed the number of cars allowed to circulate to the bare minimum necessary. And residents and tourists really appreciate this and of course it means you're in a city with good air quality so you're not going to find much pollution here. Now, other advantages include several nearby beaches and several awards for urban planning. Ponte Vedre actually has a nice seafront promenade as well and is well connected by transport. The bus station has multiple connections with other cities in Spain as well as to Porto and Lisbon in Portugal. The city is also on the high-speed train link, TAV, as well as being well connected by road. And the city itself has two urban bus lines, so you're well connected within the city as well. And add to this a number of university campuses, nice parks, bridges, good medical facilities, and you can see why Ponte Vedra is popular with property buyers. And I also want to add that the nearest airports are not too far away. So Vigo is only about 30 kilometers away. Alternatively, Santiago de Compostela is 75 kilometers away. Now, anyway, coming in at number two is Ferrol. With a population of about 65,000 or just under, Ferrol is the birthplace of the dictator Francisco Franco. However, do not let this put you off the city. It's actually a very colourful and bright city. Now, there are 
some that say that Ferron is not an attractive city, being a port city. But I disagree. There are some nice squares, green spaces, including the delightful Parque Reina Sofia, with its graceful peacocks. And there's some nice churches and the impressive 16th century fortress, San Felipe. And let's not forget, nearby there are beaches as well, so that's another plus. However, the main reason why Ferrol makes it into the top three is that property prices are extremely cheap at only around 900 euros per square meter on average. So if you are on a low budget and you want to live in the region of Galicia, where you're not too far from beaches, Ferrol could be a very good option. Now just think, La Coruña, which is only 50 kilometers away, is practically three times more expensive. And Ferrol is also well connected by train, and the nearest airport is La Coruña Airport, but Santiago de Compostela is also a good option. Now as with Pontevedra, there are plenty of festivals to enjoy as well, and there are also good medical facilities in the city. Although again, some will argue that Ferrol has seen better days, I think property prices here are just amazingly cheap. So I do think when it comes to Galicia, this is a good option. Anyway, coming in at number one is, as you can see, Santiago de Compostela. Now with a population of around 96,000, Santiago de Compostela is a world famous pilgrimage destination and capital of Galicia. The beautiful old town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the cathedral really is a sight to behold. But there are many other lovely churches in the city and being a university city, Santiago de Compostela has a very good nightlife where young and old congregate. It's a very international place as well, so it could potentially suit digital nomads as well as retirees and pilgrims. The art scene is good and there are some good places to eat and drink and obviously have coffee as well. There are also parks and as you would expect from an international location, the medical facilities are very good. Transport wise, it's linked to the Spanish high speed rail network and it has its own international airport which flies to a number of European destinations including London, Dublin, Edinburgh, Paris, Amsterdam, Brussels, Frankfurt, Zurich, Geneva, Milan and Bologna plus Cairo in Egypt as well. Now with all these facilities I think property prices are pretty cheap at an average of around 1,900 euros per square meter. But the good news as well is that even if you buy near, near the center, property prices are not that much more expensive. So we are talking around 2,100 to 2,200 euros per square meter on average in the center as well. And it's for these reasons I've put Santiago de Compostela in position number one when it comes to buying in the region of Galicia in Spain. But I would love to know your thoughts. Do you, agree, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? And tell me why. Anyway, that's it for today. As ever, thanks ever so much for watching and I shall see you soon on the next video.